Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are studying and taking some devotional time with 1 Samuel today, chapter 3, verse 16 through uh, the end of the chapter here, through 21 in a piece of 4. So let's read it and then we'll talk about it. Then Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. He answered, here I am. And he said, what is the word that the Lord spoke to you? Please do not hide it from me. God do so to you and more also if you hide anything from me of all the things that he said to you. Then Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And he said, it is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. So Samuel grew and the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel had been established as a prophet of the Lord. Then the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. So we mentioned as we've been going through morning by morning, God gives Samuel uh, a message. It's a, it makes him fearful. He doesn't really want to talk about it with Eli, but, he, but Eli knows. And Eli says, tell me what it was. Do not withhold anything. And here's where we get into a spot again where in our humanity, and, and Samuel has our humanity, right? We might feel like, I'm going to hide some of this. I'm not going to share all of it. I'll just share a little bit. I'll share a piece of it. Notice Samuel it says that he held back nothing. Eli said, tell me everything. Samuel tells him everything. How was it that he overcame his fear? How was it that he went ahead and told Eli everything? I believe that Samuel trusted in the Lord. I believe that Samuel uh, just believed that God would have his back. I mean, God gave him the message. God put him where he put him. God is at work. And so I think... Samuel just trusted him. Just raw, naked, basic, primitive, simple, straightforward trust. We could learn a lot from that, couldn't we? A lot of straightforward, simple trust on our part will, will, take, us, will take us many miles. It'll take us a long way in doing what God wants. And so we need to watch and give his message faithfully. And here Samuel delivers the message faithfully. By the way, that is the mark, isn't it, of a true prophet? Not to hold back part of the message, but to deliver the entirety of the message and to do it faithfully. The same tone that God gave it, the same, uh, the same message, uh, to just deliver it faithfully. You know, whatever, whether the, wherever the bricks fall, you deliver it faithfully and leave the results with God. Samuel is going to be that very kind of a person. And we can see the, the we see it in operation here is still Samuel, still a young, a young person. And he goes on here and he grows and he gets bigger, and uh, it, prophecy begins to be manifest through him, and the whole nation knows, hey, we have a, we have a living prophet again, it's one that's, that's faithful. So this is helping, helping Israel come up morally into a better place. So there we have it. Samuel tells him everything. He holds nothing back. And also Eli's response here is kind of interesting too. Well, it is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. When God does something, it's not something that is arbitrary, you know, well, it seems good to God, but we all, over here, we all kind of know maybe it's not quite so good. Eli, I don't think he was trying to say that, but that's kind of what it sounds like. But we got to remember that God knows ultimately what's right. God knows ultimately what's good. And so we don't let him do what seems right. We don't just agree with him because we think maybe he's right. He is right. He is right. Just that's, that's like the baseline. He is right. What he says is right, and we want to find out what it is and, and let him lead us and show us and so that we can just do what's right. So we want a good spirit there of just saying, God, this is what you've revealed. This is what we're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm completely on board, 100%. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to do what's right every time. We want to hit it uh, out of the park every time. So please, Lord, show us how we can be faithful, how we can trust in you, and grow us so that your word can be a powerful thing throughout all, among all your people. Insofar as you give us your word to share, may we share it faithfully. Thank you, Lord, for not forgetting your people, for providing the needs through the gifts of the church, the many different pieces, preaching and teaching and, and all the different business, Lord. Help us to be right, and we just look to you. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God will do that. But he's looking for partners. Are you and I ready to be his partner? That's the question. Let's go and be his partners today and God be with you.